Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to add items to an array with push and unshift. An array's length, like the data types it can contain, is not fixed. Arrays can be defined with a length of any number of elements, and the elements can be added or removed over time. In other words, arrays are mutable. That means they can be added or removed. In this challenge, we will look at two methods which uh, we can programmatically uh, modify an array. Array.push and Array.unshift. Both met methods take one or more elements as a parameter and add those elements to the array. Uh, add those elements to the array the method is being called on. The push method adds elements to the end of the array and unshift adds elements at the beginning. Consider the following. 23 is equal to x is a string of x, x, i, i, i. And then we've got Roman numerals in here. So if we were to uh, unshift x, i, x, and x x we would add those x i x x x yeah so our roman numerals initially are here they're the x x i x x i i that's this string here but because we've unshifted so we've added these two to the beginning of the array push works the same way but instead of having the x x i at the end we have added um oh we're actually adding it again so now we're uh, adding 23, the x, x, i, i, i at the end. Huh, that's kind of confusing that they did. Yeah, yeah, but still, this was the array that got modified by this unshift where we added it to the beginning. And then here we've added the uh, 23, which is x, x, i, uh, i, i to the end of the array. So we've defined a function, mixed numbers, which are passing an array as the argument. Modify the function by using push and unshift to add i, two and three to the beginning of the array seven uh roman the string for the roman numeral of eight and then five to the end so that the returned array contains representations of the number one through nine in order hmm interesting so what we want to do is take the array and we want to say uh, unshift and what do we want to add we're, go we're doing the mixed numbers and the array is there. So we can, um, let's see, five, four, five, six. Do we want it in order? One through nine in order. Mixed numbers, five and six, should now return I, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Four, five, six. Passing in an array. So we want to add to the beginning uh, one, two, three, and then array to push. So we're going to push, we're going to add seven, eight, and nine to the end. One, two, three. Okay, well this, it should utilize push method and we should utilize unshift method. So we've got push and unshift. And then we've got the mixed numbers should come out the same. So yeah, this looks like it is gonna pass the tests. Nice, well the whole idea here is this, we're just adding these to the beginning of the array and these to the end of the array. Um, it's kind of confusing that they've made them with strings and numbers, but the reason that they did that was to show you that you can have different data types within an array. So I kind of get it. But yeah, that's the answer. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and we'll see you in the next lesson.